So even though I'm one of the biggest advocates for home screen customization, and it's one of the reasons why I love Android so much, for the better part of the last year or so, I've actually been using a fairly stock looking home screen layout as I feel like it suited my needs perfectly and it didn't look that bad as well. But recently, I just found myself getting a little bit tired of this stock looking home screen layout. So whilst I am keeping things fairly minimal and clean, I have indeed changed my home screen setup, which means I get to showcase it in today's video. Now, before we press on, if you really, really like what you see here for my setup, then let's see if we can get this video up to 4,000 likes. And if we do get there, then I'll release a separate video tutorial detailing the exact step-by-step -step process of setting up this home screen setup. Now, obviously I'm still using the Google Pixel 3 XL as my current daily driver device, and it's pretty great. I covered a lot of the interesting stuff related to my experience of using the 3XL in my previous What's On My Phone video, which you can find linked here. And my thoughts are still very much the same, but to sum up, it's still the photography king. I love the software experience, but it's certainly not the fastest device going around. And that has become even more noticeable as time has passed. That said, if we take a look at my home screen setup, you can see that I've tried to achieve a fairly visually pleasing and minimal setup, but without making it super hard to find and access the applications that I use regularly. First and foremost, the launcher that I'm using here is still LaunchAir version two, which I've been using pretty much ever since I got my Pixel device last year. And I'm still using it in conjunction with the quick switch application, which does require root access. But this basically lets your phone set LaunchAir as the default stock home screen launcher, meaning it gets full access to the gestures and to the overview menu, which are both features embedded directly into the default launchers on any phone running Android Pie or above. I covered this in more detail in my previous What's On My phone video. So if you're still unsure as to what I'm talking about here, maybe watch that video as well. So the wallpaper I'm currently using for this setup is one that I featured in a recent video where I covered what I think are the best wallpapers for your phone. You can find this one using the Wallpy application, which is also one of my favorite wallpaper applications to date. And I've also included a link to the Unsplash page where this image is located from, which you can also find down in the description below. If we move up the top to this weather widget, this is an edited widget taken from the Huck for KWGT widget pack. It's dubbed free 019 and as always, I've got this one set up to launch into the frog weather shortcut application, which is always where I access and view my weather information from. So then moving down below that, and here we have eight application icons laid out in a two by four configuration with negative space on either side to give things a modern and uncluttered look. App icons are, as always, taken from the Crichton icon pack, so nothing new there. But in terms of applications, starting up the top from the left to the right, we have the Gmail application, then Twitter, the YouTube Studio app, and then the Google Play Store. Then for the bottom row, we have Spotify, Texture SMS, Google Maps, and Google Chrome. Now, before we move on, I also have this neat swipe up gesture set up for the Spotify application. And this opens an audio folder with both Spotify and my podcast application of choice, Podcast Addict. This is a neat, fairly recent feature added to LaunchAir V2 called Cover Mode. So then all the way down the bottom here is a lone folder icon that has been placed onto my dock. The icon itself is taken from the CandyCons icon pack, but then tapping on it launches into a folder filled with apps that I wanted on my home screen, but couldn't fit as a result of my current layout. And I feel like this folder icon is a fairly nice compromise. So in this folder, we have the phone application, then the YouTube app itself, then WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, Facebook, Microsoft Outlook for work-related emails, the Tempo application, which is an excellent app if you're a drummer like myself. Then I also have a shortcut to my work schedule, which is just a PDF that I created a shortcut for using the Solid File Explorer application. And then I've changed the icon to one that I found using the Crichton icon pack. What's cool about this folder icon is that it also shows up when swiping into the overview menu, which is really neat and it makes accessing some of my favorite apps really fast and convenient. All right, now for the first time in a while, I actually have a second page as a part of my home screen setup. And this has been dedicated to a calendar widget, which has been taken from the Sun and C for KWGT widget application, widget 44 to be precise. However, it has been modified a bit, resulting in what you can see here. What's really neat though, is that I've actually set this up so that when I tap on it, it actually launches into the month calendar widget pop-up interface, meaning I can see a more detailed look at what's on for the days ahead. And this is a really great customization that has improved the functionality of this widget tenfold. The only other thing worth mentioning here related to my home screen is that I have a double tap gesture set up to launch into a Google search page, which I use pretty regularly. So then moving into the app drawer and things are very much the same as with my previous video, but 
couple of applications are worth pointing out. The first is the Minimal Screen Recorder app, which is my go-to screen recorder app of choice for its clean functionality. I also use Telegram quite regularly to check on and install updates for both the Launch Air and Quick Switch applications. I also still keep Snap Mode on my phone for making any screenshots I take look even more elegant. And then one final app to highlight is Unapp, which I featured in a past Top Apps video. This application basically lets me batch uninstall apps, which is really helpful whenever I've finished with a Top Apps video. I can then go ahead and uninstall a bunch of those applications in one go. But aside from that, that's the setup. Now again, a reminder, if you want to see exactly how I set up this home screen using Launch Air version 2, as well as the customization that went into changing those various widgets that you saw on my home screen, then let's try and get this video up to 4,000 likes. And if we do get there, then that video tutorial will be made and released. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.